The astrologer said that my name needed a jade. This is the character for jade. So here in America, we call, we have the alphabet, right? Letters. In her culture, Chinese, okay, they call them character, character, okay? And this one means jade. This is a common variation of the character for jade. Here's another symbol. So variation is a big vocabulary word. That means it can differ or be different. In Chinese culture, jade is said to possess the five essential virtues of Chinese philosophy, compassion, modesty, courage, justice, and wisdom. Virtues she thought I might need when trying to be the fair one. So as she created my name, my mom weaved as much jade as possible. Lou, my last name, means land. And there's the character, Lou. And again, that means land. Page 26. Juan means gentle, gracious. Juan is traditionally written with the female root. Look at that character. But mom took it out and swapped it in the jade root. You is an antiquated version of the character for jade. I guess that makes my Chinese name mean the land of gentle jade. Pretty lame compared to, remember her brother, means joy to the world, if you ask me. So that's how I ended up with two names, a simple English name, and a customized Chinese one. Actually, if you count my nicknames, I have at least 15 names. They range from obvious abbreviations like J. Lu to more story-oriented ones like Gimpy, Potty Lu, and Evil. Then there are nicknames that reflect my stage in life. Five years ago, in the midst of a post-breakup, I was having a mid-career crisis. I came to a realization. There is no point in trying to be something I wasn't, like being white, or something others wanted me to be, the fair one. I started making mass changes in my life, challenging old traditional beliefs from my past, particularly the negative self-destructive ones, and exploring new and healthier trains of thought. When you clean house and tear down the Great Wall, it's easy to second guess what you're doing, but I preserved and through it, I gained a greater sense of confidence. I started feeling free to be myself, enough so that the spunk and spark returned to my life, enough so that a good friend started calling me Gen 2.0. I would spit out a sassy, witty comment, and he would hiss, watch out, it's Gen 2.0, page 27. I had become a newer, speedier, more enhanced version of the old me. And I began to love my names for what they are, for what they aren't, and for the betweenness that they capture. Because I finally learned to love the uniqueness that's me. So if you're in the market for a name, drop me a line. My family knows a good astrologer. Now, this is in italics, so this is actual factual information. Okay. Jennifer, our author, is not speaking here, so someone else is giving us facts about her. Jennifer Liu grew up in Windsor, Connecticut in the 1970s. Liu is a writer in San Francisco, which is California, whose work focuses on her life as a Chinese-American. She has founded a group for humor storytelling, works for a digital publisher, and serves on the board of You Speaks, which is an organization dedicated to supporting young poets and writers. She spends her downtime volunteering at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. So that's what she's currently doing here in our lovely 2021 time period. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the story and you really remember as a personal narrative, hopefully really felt how she was feeling and the emotion she was going through. And she was just telling the honest truth. And hopefully you guys learn a little bit of Chinese culture.